Look at my sheep. Look at his face. Listen to him sparkle! We need a place for him. Also, he needs a name. Some of you already left a bunch of suggestions for him, and again, just like uh, Sir Shelley Sheldon Snail's Law II, I cannot just pick one name. So I combined the suggestions that I saw the most, and this beautiful creature shall forever be known as Cloudy the Sparkle Rainbow Puff. But yeah, my sheep needs his own colorful home. And since the garden village has a lot of color because of all the flowers and dye, we could build it over there. Um, Cloudy the Sparkle Rainbow Puff, could you kindly move away from the door? Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You stay. You stay, I'll be right back. Where could we build our sheep a house? Whoa, wait a minute. Where did all these colorful flowers come from? These weren't here last time. Oh. They're coming from the rainbow hole that took us to the gardens last time. <gasps> Look at all the pretty plants. My sheep is gonna love it here. You know what would be kind of cool? Look at this. Look at this over here. Look, look, look. Look what I have found. There is a lit. Something just died. R.I.P. There is a little island. An island from the Cloud Forest Garden Village. We could build Cloudy the Sparkle Rainbow Puff's house right over there. You know what we need though? We need fun colored blocks to build with. This is a magical rainbow sheep that we have. We can't build a boring normal house. It needs to be special. I wonder if the island shop has anything we could use today. Whoa, they have red, orange, yellow, and green blocks. This is exactly what I need. Except I'm also gonna need some more diamonds if I wanna get a bunch of these. We should complete some quests. It's been a while since I've looked at the free money block. Let's see. <gasps> Kill two zombies and get four diamonds? Yes, I'll take that. What is this? Four zombies and three emeralds for 13 diamonds? <gasps> Okay, if I complete these two quests, I'll get 17 diamonds. That should definitely be enough for the items I need. All right, we need zombies and we need emeralds. Hello? Ah, I see one. Hello. <coughs> Bye. <laughs> Is there another one? Hello? Just one? <laughs> it's too bright over here for zombies to spawn. We need to go into the darkness. What about over here? Hello? Ooh. What's this? Oh, creepers! That's not what I want. <gasps> oh, hello. Ow. Hey. Goodbye. Ah! Why am I floating? Why am I floating? Why am I floating? Why am I floating? Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Ah! I have questions. I was just... I just I, I was just checking my inventory and zombies came up and I started floating. What the heck? Um, <laughs> hello, Rainbow Puff. Ah, the scene of the murder. I will take this. Thank you very much. Do oh, I have everything? Oh, my fly ring. My sword. Oh, my backpack. I think we're good. That was chaotic. And as you can tell, I don't do well under pressure. We did complete this quest though. So we did one and we have one to go. Where did those zombies go? They just like killed me and dipped. Hello? Oh, I hear them. I hear, oh, oh, spooky dark hole. Ah, spooky dark hole! No, okay, okay, okay. Hello? Ow! Stop it. I don't want the skeletons. Hello? I see your bones. I don't, I don't want to see your bones. Oh my god, run! We have a flight ring. Fly away. These mobs are being a little bit aggressive. You smelly skeleton. I don't like you. <gasps> Zombie. <gasps> I did it. I did it. Four out of four. Two out of two. All we need now are three emeralds. I actually remember seeing some emeralds in the garden village. So let's head back over there. Aha. Hello. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. No. Goodbye. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I forgot they explode confetti. Cute. But I need these. Thank you. All right, so we can now turn in this quest and this quest. Woo! We got 17 diamonds and an enchanted book. It's time to go shopping. This shop has a lot of colors, but I just realized something. It's missing blue and purple blocks. Maybe they'll have those at the block shop. They do 
you have it. Okay, this is perfect. All right, first, we must level out this island. The single tree on it is very cute, but it's in the way of our future sheep house. Goodbye, tree. Okay, the land has been leveled, so now it's time to build. Maybe this is weird, I don't know, but I want Cloudy the Sparkle Rainbow Puff's house to be a giant rainbow sheep head. It's gonna be so cute. If I wanna use all the rainbow colors that I have, then I think the sheep house needs to be eight by eight blocks. I also want this house to be striped, just like my rainbow sheep. So we're starting with the color red. Okay, we've got our eight blocks going this way. Uh, but now, since it's gonna be striped, we have to change the color. So after red, we have orange, yellow, Green, blue, purple, magenta, and pink. Ta-da! It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really look like a sheep right now, but it will. Just you wait. We just need to give it a face. This can be his mouth, and this can be his little skin face part. Then all he needs is some eyeballs and some red wool around the edges. Ta-da! Guy looks a little weird just like this, but. That's okay. Let's add the rest of the colors. <laughs> uh, so I finished adding. Oh! Ah! I finished adding colors, but, uh, I did something. I gave him stumpy little legs! Ah, <laughs> oh, he's so stupid looking. I love him. But also, while I was building this, I forgot that I have those really cool rainbow blocks. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Aha! Oh, these blocks would be perfect. I was thinking that we could use these for the floor of this house. Oh, it is very dark in here now. Uh, we need some windows. Ah, that's better. But look at this floor. <sighs> that's a little crazy to look at, but it's fun. Even though this is a sheep house, I kind of want to make it a little bit more like a house. It's very sheep right now, which I love, but I feel like it needs some open areas and some windows and uh, a proper entrance. Is it wrong to put the entrance at the back of this build? Because, well, it, 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 uh, it might... It might look like a, a oh. butt, a, you, you know, um, mm, uh, <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's not what it is, don't worry about it. It's just a door. <laughs> How's that? Just ignore the fact that it's on the back of the build, okay? Now for these windows, we could just add some white glass. And I kind of like the way I put some slabs here to be kind of like an awning above the door. And I was thinking if we do the same thing on top of these windows, then it kind of looks like the sheep has wings. Oh my god, it's like a little stumpy fairy sheep. This is so cute. But okay, now that we have our cute little fairy rainbow sheep, it's time to decorate the inside. Now, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, but I do wanna add a few things. First, we can add a bit of grass so we could have something to eat. Then we can add some beds, some rainbow flowers, and a little bit of carpet. Ta-da! Let's go get our sheep. Hello, Cloudy. I made a house for you. Come here. Welcome home, little buddy. <gasps> He loves it! Now that our sheep has a lovely new home, we should probably start working on fixing this village. Today I want to work on the cafe, a villager house, and we can find a spot for a well. But first things first, let's make a villager house. Ta-da! I like this one. It's got a view of the sheep house. Now let's see where we could put a well. I feel like it should be somewhere in the middle of the village so that it's easy for the villagers to get water for their flowers. Let's see. This looks like a good spot. It's right in between the shops and the houses. It's so pretty. There's lots of water inside for villagers to water their plants. I added some cute hanging lanterns. And I also added a bunch of leaves to make it look overgrown. But okay, now that this is done, all that's left to fix is the cafe. Since the sign specifically says, 
a flower cafe. We should build giant flowers around it. cafe. Just like the well, I decided to give the cafe some overgrown vibes with these leaves everywhere. There's a cute little awning, a place out front for people to sit and eat, and we have some giant pink and white flowers. Well, now that we've worked on the village a little bit and built our sheep friend a new house, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new.